This is how you can make any video longer by extending your clip in Premiere Pro. So let's jump into Premiere Pro here. Right now this feature is only in the beta version of Premiere Pro, so I'm gonna open this up in beta. But hopefully it's in the full version in the next update. So I'm just going to create a new project here, choose the save location and click on create. Then I'm going to skip the import feature and I'm going to drag some media in here that I have downloaded from Pexels. Next I'm just gonna drag this footage onto our timeline here, but let's say I want to start our video at five seconds here and get both of the ducks going out of frame. Now, as you can see, we only get one of the ducks actually going out of frame and it doesn't actually fully leave the frame. So we're going to come over to our new generative extend tool here. And then we're just gonna simply hit agree. And if we click on our file and try to extend it, you can see we get a warning. It requires clips that are either 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720. So this is not available for 4K yet. So what I'm gonna do is just delete this. Instead, drag this 1920 by 1080 clip onto our timeline. And then I will change the sequence settings so that it is now 1080p resolution. Now we have this carnival ride and I'm gonna come to 11 seconds and make a cut so that this clip ends after four seconds of playing it. Then I'm gonna to come to the generative extend tool and let's try dragging it out now. And as you can see, we have a maximum of two seconds that we can extend this clip. So if we drag it out and we let it upload to the servers, and as you can see, if we come over to this part in our timeline, it says generating extension and you can actually keep editing while this is happening in the background. So if I drag this clip onto our timeline, we can also do the generative extend on this one at the same time. And again, we have the two second duration limit. Now, by the time you're watching this, this duration limit might be longer, might be shorter, who knows? Great, so that took about two minutes to extend the clip. Our first clip is finished. Let's play this back and see how it looks. So first we have the normal shot, and you can visibly tell when it turns into the AI extension, which is kind of what I expected with this shot because there are these lines here that are moving quite fast. You can notice things like the sky track pretty well. And if we go keyframe forward, keyframe back, everything just looks a lot smoother for the AI translation of things. We lose a little bit of detail on everything and obviously the strings and the things that are moving really fast lose a lot of detail, but honestly, like this big structure, looks pretty similar. You can see that the shadows are diminished, the contrast is less, there's a lot less detail on the actual structure here, and overall everything is just a little less detailed. But in general, you can kind of get away with this in your shot. So now let's check out this second shot of some clouds, and if we play this back, you can hardly even tell. <laughs> I mean, Contrast is taken out of these clouds right here. Overall, it did a pretty good job on this shot. As you can see, as the cloud keeps moving, it looks a little more artificial, but that is to be expected. Let's look at this shot, see if we can even notice it when it happens. And yeah, we can notice it. I was actually looking at this person's head right here and it just disappears. So that's how I was able to notice. But um, let's look at the rest of the shot here. This is the frame where it changes. Honestly, this sign is pretty much the exact same. It looks like the colors change a little bit, but I feel like the still images, like these bars here, these should have just stayed straight because they're not moving at all. And the camera, I don't believe is moving either. And one last thing is if we focus on these people down here, so let's go to where they are walking normally, and you can see that is a normal walk. And then once it turns into the generated shot, they kind of start to float a little bit. So it doesn't seem like it's great with physics. Now this is a shot that I am really interested in, and it's a pretty simple scene overall. I'm interested to see what happens to this person in the back here. Let's just play it. Honestly, that's pretty good. Again, it looks like it smooths all of the rough edges out and sort of makes it look a bit like a painting. But the person in the foreground looks pretty much the exact same. But let's try this where we have a arm movement and see what happens. And we'll make the cut right where he's scratching his mustache here. And then I'm going to use the generative extend. It can only be applied once. Okay, so I'm guessing I need to come to this clip. Let's maybe drag it out. And let's, let's right click on these little tags here. You can do generate again if it's not good and it looks like you can rate it because it's in beta right now. But I'm gonna click on these, and it doesn't look like we can delete them from the timeline. So honestly, I'm not entirely sure how we can delete these generations, but you can click generate again, 
and it will do that for you. But I'm just going to delete this clip for now, and then I'm going to drag it back onto the timeline again, and we'll come to where he's scratching his beard, and then I will use the generative extend here. Now let's play this back and see how this turned out. So he goes up, and honestly that was really good. A lot better than I was expecting. If we look at his hand, like even the motion blur is kind of perfect here. Wow, very impressive, okay. So that is how you make a video longer in Premiere Pro using the Generative Extend tool on your clip. If you want to learn how to make animated subtitles in Premiere Pro, you can check out this video right here where I show you how to do that. And if you're interested in joining a video editing community where a bunch of video editors and clients are at, where you can find jobs and learn video editing, then you can join from the link in the description. And as always, if this video was helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.